So I'm really excited today to talk to you about my research about couples who take MDMA together and what I'm going to call um, this like emotional bubble, which I will explain in a moment, that, that couples experience when they kind of take MDMA together. So on to the data, the juicy part. So couples described what I said earlier as a kind of emotional bubble forming around them on MDMA and that was somewhere they felt safe, where they um, had a place to be vulnerable where they were kind of more in tune with their emotions and they could express those emotions better as well. And it was largely insulated from kind of fear or worry or anger, though not, not completely. And I use this metaphor of a bubble because, you know, a bubble denotes like a separate space, but it's also kind of transparent, so it's not completely blocked off from real world concerns. And just as a bubble pops, you know, um, MDMA experiences inevitably come to an end. Um, yeah, and just as bubbles can kind of leave behind a sort of residue or a trace, so too do MDMA experiences. That's what the couples describe them as doing. So it's, it seems interesting that, you know, as a drug, uh, and one long associated with kind of the summer of love, with raving, with hedonism, that MDMA can often be equated in research with some form of escapism. But that really doesn't seem to be what's happening here at all. Emily's not talking about, you know, taking MDMA with Dan and they're just sort of escaping or they're avoiding all their problems. Instead, she's talking about taking MDMA with him and then these problems are actually aired between them. They're processed, they're dealt with to some degree and they're wiped away and they have this clean slate. And not only that, having this kind of clean slate then motivates them to continue to kind of bring that open, honest communication in their everyday lives together as well. I think what's also really interesting about uh, what Nick says, I think it really speaks to the kind of conflicting cultural pressures that exist for men. So on the one hand, you have this idea of um, having a kind of masculine identity, of being strong, of not being emotionally vulnerable. And then on the other hand, there's sort of a growing expectation that men too will share their feelings, particularly in romantic relationships. And taking MDMA for Nick seems to allow him to kind of navigate these two opposing pressures um, and just be more emotionally available for, for his partner, which leads to what he later describes as a, a healthier kind of relationship. Um, and this has really kind of replicated this sort of idea of male partners becoming more emotionally available, more emotionally vulnerable, was really replicated across the data set. So half of the women I interviewed talked about how uh, they really enjoyed the kind of more emotional side to their male partners in MDMA. Uh, and this seems particularly significant benefit of, M of uh, MDMA and couples in particular when you think about how um, research has found women often cite a lack of emotional intimacy as a major reason for getting divorced from a male partner. So to sum up, it's a really like take home from this talk that MDMA changes not just individuals, but how couples relate to each other on an emotional level. And this doesn't say confined to end taking MDMA together, it kind of ripples out into their everyday lives. It provides a reminder to be more affectionate, to be more honest together maybe. Uh, and it also can change how one person's uh, kind of a more emotional sense of self and changes them to become more emotionally vulnerable with their partner in everyday life too. I think this has a couple of uh, sort of main implications. So therapists who are working with couples, this is general therapists who are working with couples uh, who've taken MDMA together, give them sort of insights on the experiences people have had together. Uh, and also, rather optimistically, uh, in a utopian future where we have MDMA-assisted couples therapy, I think that would be a, could provide possible support for that as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>